Hello friends, in today's video, I am going to share with you 21 exercises for facial paralysis coming up. These exercises are useful be it for Bell's palsy or facial paralysis following a stroke episode or Parkinson's disease. Facial paralysis can be a daunting problem as it affects the aesthetics of a patient. It really impairs the ability to perform day-to-day -day activities for a patient. Now, the exercises that I am going to share with you in this video might look little funny but the people who are actually suffering from facial paralysis, they understand the pain behind it and the difficulty of doing this simple moves. So, let's go ahead and see what are these 21 exercises. Exercise number one is raising your eyebrows like this. Now, for a person who is suffering from facial paralysis, you might find it difficult to move or raise your eyebrows from the affected side. So in order to facilitate the movement, you can take the help of your finger and then do the same movement. You can do this for 5 repetitions. Next exercise is frowning. So, if you are having difficulty in doing this movement from the affected side, what you can do is just take the help of your finger and assist your this side, the affected side, to do the frowning movement like this. Exercise number three is flaring your nose. If you have difficulty in flaring your nose from the affected side, you can take the help of breathing movements. So blocking your nose, block it and try to breathe out your breaths from the affected side where that means on the side where the paralysis exists. So it would be something like this. Once you are able to do this nose flaring movement, you can then try to flare your nose from both the sides altogether. Exercise number four is smiling. Now for a patient suffering from facial paralysis, again the smiling from the affected side would be difficult and hence the assistance from the finger is required. So how to do that? Let's see. Exercise number five is to open and shut your jaw. How to do that? Let's have a look. Exercise number six is to move your jaw from side to side. Exercise number seven is to move your lips forward for spelling U and backward for spelling E. So let's see. U E U E U E Exercise number 8 is to pull back each side of your mouth. How to do it? Let's have a look. For exercise number 9, we need a spoon. We need to hold the spoon between both the lips like this and then we need to bounce the spoon. Let's have a look. And once you are able to bounce this spoon up and down, then Hold this spoon between the lips and try to pull the spoon. Exercise number 10 is to blow the air from the mouth. So first we need to fill the air in the mouth like this. And then blow the air. So this needs to be done for 5 repetitions. Exercise number 11 is to say A, U, E all together for 5 repetitions. A, U, E. 
Exercise number 12 is to push your tongue forward uh, and backward. For exercise number 13, we'll again need a spoon. But what to do this time? Let's have a look. We need to push the spoon with the help of the tongue. Exercise number 14 is to touch the tip of the tongue to the soft palate upwards and then down to the bottom of the lip like this. Exercise number 15 is to touch the tip of the tongue to the bottom of the teeth like this. Exercise number 16 is to touch again the tip of the tongue to the corner of the mouth like this. Exercise number 17 is to rotate the tip of the tongue to the cheeks. It has to be done in the circular motions, so clockwise and then anticlockwise. Exercise number 18 is to clench the teeth strongly, something like this. Exercise number 19 is to make a big yawn, something like this. Exercise number 20 is to make a big ah uh, sound, something like this. Uh, and the last 21st exercise is to move the lips, the lower lips downwards like this. So friends, these were some 21 exercises that can be helpful for any one of you who is suffering from facial paralysis. I hope you find these exercises helpful and useful. Please share in the comment section below your experience with these exercises. And if you have any queries related to Bell's palsy or facial paralysis, you can reach out to me on the comment section below. See you next week. Bye-bye.